Welcome back to Good Morning La La. this Wealth Wednesday, there's nothing better than some laughter and some joy on Instagram. Yes. We love this woman, Ariel Ray. She is a comedian, she is an influencer, and she is on brand today. Hi, guys. Hi. How are you? Good morning. So, one, I love following you. You're so gorgeous. You're so hilarious. But you're also very, like, authentic and sexy in a very not traditional way. Thank you. Thank you. Um, yeah, I, I try. It's really hard because you can post a picture, you know, and you know what's going to get likes out there, you know. It's all about the booty. Yeah. It's all about, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and the boobs, but I'm trying to be I'm trying to bring my real authentic self and trying to mix it up a little bit and do it, you know, yeah, something a little bit different. So what do you want your audience or followers to think about you when they see you on camera or you on Instagram? Well, I'm okay with them thinking I'm a smart aleck, because I am. <laughs> okay. Um, and I, I like for them, like, I like people saying, oh, I like your captions, I like the stuff you do, the creativity you bring, you know, so. Yeah, I just want them to feel like it's something different, a little bit refreshing, and it's not so much in your face. Though I do put it in your face sometimes, <laughs> but not uh -huh. every day, you know? Is it hard to know where that sweet spot is? Yes. Yes. How I try, you... I have like a, there's this preview planner that you can see how you're, because I like it to like look pretty, like photos next to planally, each other. Planoly, which one do you use? I don't use Planoly. I used to use Planoly. I use Preview now. Okay, we know that. We're in, take note. Preview. Yeah, so okay. I use Preview uh -huh. now, and I like make sure like you know there's a selfie here, and then uh, maybe something sec a little sexy here, and then not so sexy there. So it's like a yeah, you gotta you gotta plan it, and then they have to look good next to each other too. But so. beyond that, though, you have to deal with the the likes, the comments, the haters. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about having body positivity, staying confident in yourself. Yes, that's not always so easy when you you're flooded with. Sometimes like, you do have to take a break. Your feed is like all these gorgeous women, like right after each other, you know, and you start having this talk of yourself, the negative self talk that happens no matter what and you just have to take a break and know who you are and I, I i work on myself a lot like a lot what do you do when you work on yourself well i'm doing tony robbins this weekend which is awesome. Well, i've been mm -hmm. before but i'm excited to walk on the rocks again is it downtown la yes yeah i'm amazing. really excited uh -huh. um i recently just learned about something um called the upper limit problem have you guys ever heard of this no you mean the glass ceiling what i don't know maybe that's a different way to think of it but we have this like level or this point of happiness where we're comfortable uh, being yes, happy yes. yeah and then sort of like a happiness contract in your head right oh, and then we yeah. can overdo it and yeah. we've never our brain doesn't know what we don't know yeah. and then it brings us back down even lower than our comfort spot interesting so, like how good can you allow life to get before you start to self-sabotage? Yes, yeah. exactly. And that's what you can't find out on Instagram. That's right. No. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> no. You can't Google the answer to that. Yeah, we call no. it havingness. Like, what are you actually able to actually have? And it does come down to, I think a lot of it is, of, of course, self-worth is everything. Mm -hmm. But I think a lot of that, when you talk um, about uh, dating as an influencer, what's that been like? Because it's hard for people to, I think they self-sabotage a lot because they can, you could find something wrong every time. You can find, you can think people are cheating every time if you take a look at someone's oh, uh, DM. Totally. Like, I mean, I you're going to find whatever you want to find, right? I went on a date the other day and we just met randomly and I, he's like, oh, what's your Instagram? I was like, do we want to cross this bridge? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> to cross this, you know? Jump in the shark. Yeah, because right? it's like a different, it just changes things a little How bit. How does it change things for you? Well, it's just, they can watch you. They know everything on yeah, that, that very side true. of you. Because mm -hmm. it's like, they, they have this one perception of you. And then they can look at your Instagram and be like, oh, you know, this is a different perception. So it's like, yeah. What do you mean? It's not the same? <laughs> <laughs> what, what would you like people to know about you hmm. that they couldn't glean from your Instagram account? Hmm. Well, I'm trying to actually work on that. I'm working on this project that brings like my more artistic side, I would say, of creativity. And like, so for instance, I'll be in a bikini or something, but I'll be doing Macbeth. Oh, wow. Cool. Yeah. Oh, the irony. Yeah. <laughs> Something weird like that. Yeah. That's, That's good. Just like, That's good. Yeah, that, that yeah. feels... Paradox. Yes. It would take someone very confident to date you and be okay and really ex allow you to be fully expressed without them taking it personal of some insecurity. So what do you... How do you think someone... What would someone have to do to be in that confident in your eyes? Like, how would you know? If you were dating somebody, mm -hmm. what would be the signs that you'd look for to go, like, this person can handle... Well, my life. I usually don't care about social media. Uh, That's a big thing. Mm -hmm. then, like, it just it takes that problem right out of the whole equation, you know? 
So I, I like that. I look for that. They're like, what's Instagram? You're like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> dateable. I like so it might be that. dateable. <laughs> like, yeah, I'm very curious. If there were no Instagram in this world, mm. God forbid, what would you be doing? Mm. Good question, Jess. Good question. Well, is there YouTube? <laughs> She's like Facebook, that's Twitter. Sad, there are lots of platforms here. Lots of platforms. Yeah. Mic drop. It is a good question. Like, what is it that you most love about your life and your work and your business? Because you're incredibly creative, you know, and you've got a very easy, conversational, and personal way about you. Mm -hmm. um, and so, when do you find yourself enjoying your life and your business the most? Mm. It's when I'm working on what I'm doing. It's the, that's when the hours just fly by. Like I, when you're like, being creative. Yeah, shooting, editing, all that stuff, it flies by, which means mm -hmm. you are doing what you love, right? Right, right. Yeah. Right. Are there specific themes that you love the most? Uh, what what do you mean? Because you're, sort of, so you're a comedian, right? Oh, yeah. And you're extremely creative. And so I, as a positive psychology expert, mostly love the, the theme of happiness. Oh, yeah. Because I like talking about success and the ways in which they uh, intersect. But for you, I wonder what themes are most interesting to you. That's a good question. I think uh, the juxtaposition of things like being in a ball gown in a gas station or something. Like I love <laughs> the idea of just like high contrast. Weird, messy yeah. things yes. like that. Yeah, mm -hmm. I love messy. Yeah. Messy is my thing. Right. I love that. Yeah. Um, Osho, we talk about Osho mm -hmm. sometimes. He would always say that the greater the paradox, the closer you are to the truth mm -hmm. in life or in business. But that truth often looks very paradoxical. I yeah, love that you're highlighting mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. So tell everyone how they can follow you. Oh, okay. Um, you can follow me at my Instagram at D Ariel Ray, and uh, that is A R I E L L E R A Y. That's a very spiritual name. Thank you. That's very spiritual. Right. I love it. It is. It is. That's it so is. great. So great to meet you. <laughs> it's nice to meet you guys. Stay tuned. We'll Stay be right back. Sorry.